I'm just tugging on the liver here to have a bit more of a look inside this poor lorikeet that um, died suddenly and we're exposing the stomach and the stomach is that large pale mass and it's got acute hemorrhages um, it's bleeding under the serosa of the stomach or the lining of the stomach um, exterior lining of the stomach uh, massive bleeding under there that's taking this necropsy a little bit further um, having pulled back a few more membranes air sac membranes and so forth we can see the lung tissue where I have the forceps there and the lung is very congested it should be a pale nice soft pink um, it's much redder than it should be um, we've got the oviduct this is a female bird and we've got the oviduct this pale piece of tissue somewhere here I'm trying to film at the same time as I um, get the forceps in the right direction anyway that piece of tissue there is the egg tube or oviduct indicating we're dealing with a female birdie uh, that is not in lay at the moment the ovary is this bunch of grapes that you might be able to see just here um, right there you see a little thing of um, that's the, the lorikeet's ovary and this bird was not in lay so she uh, hadn't uh, if she had been in lay there'd be a big yoke or two or three in amongst this bunch of small grapes which are the developing eggs and they she's not in lay at the moment not breeding anyway I hope you've learnt a little bit from this necropsy we've got the descending colon here this piece here is a descending colon um, and it's also very very hemorrhagic and uh, this birdie didn't stand a chance it would not have responded in all, at all to standard medicines just too acute and severe uh, there's more than one disease going on here there's thrush and either a bacterial or viral disease as well all right hope you've learned something and again we'll say this is dr ross perry signing off pancreas that pale area in the middle looks normal pancreatic loop of intestine is distended and hemorrhagic but not as badly affected as the remaining and i did not see any coccidia i didn't see any motile protozoa in the wet smears of this all right we're just finishing up on this little birdie for the moment the gram stain smears showed a massive coliform infection very small gram negative rods quite short uh, perhaps pasturella um, perhaps uh, some other type of coliform bacteria probably not E. coli anyway the uh, massive bacterial infection um, with coliforms and also uh, in parts of the intestine but not all parts um, very severe yeast infection and with the yeast there were also some staphylococci like gram positive dot shaped blue staining bacteria I did not find any protozoa, I did not find any coccidia I didn't find any trichomoniasis or hexameter or giardia or anything like that and uh, so I think in my opinion this bird has died from an acute bacterial infection that has spread through the body very very quickly acute bacterial septicemia um, producing uh, lots of toxins causing toxic shock syndrome hemorrhages throughout the um, throughout the abdominal thoracic cavity and there you are I expect to see quite a lot more lorikeets dying over the next few weeks as a result of this infection spreading through the pop uh, through the population and it's very hard to do anything about it on the fox situation except to educate people to um, uh, apply the same hygiene to the feeding birds be they wild or pet birds as they would for their own plates and dishes